Well, good afternoon, church family and friends, and uh, welcome back to the backyard for the daily devotion. And uh, I know I didn't get on yesterday, but uh, yesterday was Memorial Day, so uh, I was trying to uh, just, um, I guess, let you have to spend time with your family and, and take the day. And, and I hope that you spent time reflecting on the freedoms that we have and and uh, the price that was paid for those uh, those great freedoms that we have. And uh, I hope that you spent time uh, speaking, or thinking and speaking of those things and, and reflecting upon uh, how great God has been to us in giving us this great nation and uh, all the things uh, that have come with it with uh, as far as freedom. And I think of the freedoms that we have and I think of well, I think of the great freedoms we have and liberties that we have religiously where other places in the world there uh, is great persecution to the church. There is uh, there's no freedom to be able to assemble like we can today. There's no freedom to be able to preach and proclaim the gospel publicly like we can today, not without fear of reprisal. And so I pray that we don't take that that lightly. I think of places like uh, China and uh, oh, just North Korea and, and many other places across the world that, uh, I mean, I, you could go on and on and on that uh, being a Christian is a very difficult thing there because of the persecution. So please, I pray that you... Um, you take the freedoms that we have, don't take them lightly. We should praise God for the great things that has been afforded to us. And also remember that, well, they're not free and people have, have paid the ultimate price for them. And that means that uh, you and I need to be vigilant to keep them secure and do all the things that we can do as, as good citizens. On a different note, I'd like to show you, uh, I, and I've, I picked today's Today of Devotion kind of with that idea in mind. Uh, Proverbs chapter number 10 and verse number 7 is where we'll be in here in a, in a moment. And uh, I, I was thinking about all the people who have um, just done a, uh, a tremendous job sacrificing uh, and setting up uh, the government that we have and the, the, the country that we have. Some gave the ultimate price and, and other, other people, um, you know, they gave up fortunes and, and uh, they gave up uh, limbs and they and they gave up um, you know their dreams and their ambitions and, and they risked all to be able to form this country that we have from the beginning all the way to now and so when I when I think back on some of the greatest Americans in history um, it's because of their character that they stand out so well many of them particularly our founding fathers and from the beginning of, of our, our early history they had such a great faith in God in the uh, they were driven by righteousness. You say, well, they weren't perfect men. Of course they weren't. No, nope, nobody has been. And, and until Jesus Christ comes back, um, you won't find a man that doesn't have faults. And so I'm not saying they don't have faults. But these were men who, men and women who, who cared deeply about God's word and, and setting up um, a freedom in a country that would allow us to be able to, uh, to, be able to follow God and not have any fear of reprisal about it. And so I encourage you to take and hold those things uh, very uh, dear to your heart and to praise God for them as many times as you can. Proverbs 10, chapter number 7, it says, The memory of the just is blessed. You see, when we think about remembering and, and memorializing, uh, we, we yesterday we have Memorial Day for all those who have fought and died for our country, uh, those who have gave that ultimate back of sacrifice, that we might be able to have the freedoms that we have today. And we think about their memory, and because they they fought for a just cause, it was a it's a blessed memory. And so I even think about memories of uh, people like the, my childhood pastor uh, and my early adult pastor, who's gone on to be with the Lord. He was a just man, and his memory is blessed. I think of people in history. We were watching. Uh, we were watching some documentaries on ancient Egypt recently, and and, and uh, me and Crystal, and we were watching some stuff on archaeologists there in Egypt, and they were uh, talking about these these ancient pharaohs, and and uh, one of them, the archaeologist, was an Egyptian, and he was trying to uh, get a, a statue of Ramses the second back the way it was, and it had fallen in an earthquake, and so they were restoring it, and and they were talking about Ramses the second, and and he was. He said, I, I want his memory preserved because it was a heritage to him. You know, I don't know if Ramses II was a just man or not. I would say he's probably not, uh, to be honest with you. But 
but he was concerned about his memory. And then we look at these pharaohs of old and their giant, um, th th their giant monuments they made to them to the make sure that their memory would be passed down and the other great um, civilizations of the world and. Uh, and by great, I mean they were big and, and notable, and how they built monuments and they built uh, giant edifices to be able to have a memory. We put great stock in that, don't we? Memory. You know, the only way to make a, have a blessed memory is to be a just man or woman, that, that our conduct would be something that we'd follow after righteousness or, or we'd follow after God's way. And, and that way, when we do that, you will find that our memory will be blessed. You find that he goes on, he says this in the end of verse number 7. He says, But violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. You see, that you'll find that the memory of the wicked is not going to be the same as the memory of the just. And there are a great number of people in history that have gone on to be uh, not remembered at all. There's a great number of people that have gone down in history that are remembered as violent, terrible tyrants. There are people in my life that have gone on to be, uh, um, even some that have gone on to be with the Lord, they just don't have the greatest memory in my, in, in my eyes, and, but that's because I watched them do things that were very anti-God and anti-righteousness. And then there are people that have been in my life that I have seen them do well, and I've seen them follow after God, and they have a great memory in my eyes. And then we look at things in the Bible. And let's just, for instance, let's, for instance, um, uh, think about people in the in the Scripture. And we we look at Daniel, we look at uh, we look at Joseph, we look at men who God never said anything bad about. No no recorded. Um, there's nothing recorded at all that they did anything wrong. I'm sure they did, but God never uh, recorded any of their faults for us. And so when I look at those guys, I see here's a man. Here's here's a couple of people that that followed God with all their heart and their memory is blessed. But there are other people in Scripture when we think of Lot, uh, when we think of Judas, when we think of, um, I mean, even when you think of Peter, you think about the denial sometimes. Um, when you think of some people in Scripture, you go, there are some that their memory is not as blessed as others. It's because they didn't follow after righteousness. And so, can I tell you this, that the justs, their memory will be blessed. I don't know about you, but I want to be remembered for being a good person. Not just a good person, but a godly person. I want to be remembered because that I followed after uh, the things of God, and I followed after uh, the will of God, and I held to the righteousness that is in serving God. And so that way, that when I'm gone, that my memory will be blessed. I think we all want that. Well, I've certainly been encouraged um, to talk to you. Hi, Miss Reese. It's so good to see you on these, these streams. And uh, one of these days you have to come and see, say hi to us and see us. It's good to see you, Chelsea, and I, I don't know when you're going to be coming back. I, I hope that everything's going well. Tell your grandfather that we're still praying for him. And, um, and uh, I saw somebody else on. Brian was on. It was good to see Brian. I don't know if it's Brian or Rachel, but it's good to see the Dosses on. And, of course, my I think I saw my mom and, and Charles. And, and so it's good to see you all on here today. But uh, listen, I, I hope you strive to leave a good memory and uh, to leave a good legacy behind. That the next generation won't have to look back upon us and say, I'm not going to do anything like, I'm not going to do it like they did it. But they would be able to say, you know, there's a pattern in which I can pattern my life after because they pattern their life after Christ. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, on a side note, pray for Austin and Victoria there on the road. I think they're somewhere in Louisiana right now if you're watching this live. And uh, they should be here late this afternoon. So pray for their safety. And of, uh, of course, it has been great to have spent this time with you. And think about that for a moment. What are you leaving behind as far as legacy? You're going to leave everything behind when you die. Uh, but what is the legacy of your life going to be? The memory of the just is blessed. Violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. I just want to leave that with you today. Leave behind something great.